what was maybe the beginning of your noticing that, oh, this is, so we're in a different era, things are becoming strange. So maybe like the beginning, and then was there like a pivot point when you were like, whoa, 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 <laughs> we've gone way too far. Well, I think everything that I say henceforth on your program could be prefaced by, I told you so. <laughs> I know it's, I know your mom told you it was rude to say, I told you so, but I told you so. In my 2017 book, Not a Day, I warned of this. And I said, what was happening at Berkeley and Brown, this teaching about safe spaces and microaggressions and trigger warnings, all of this stuff is self-centered narcissism. And what's taught today in the classroom is always going to be practiced tomorrow in our culture. So what what caused me to be a, a, aware of the problem? I saw the terrible ideas that were being imbibed by my industry and perpetuated by my industry. The academy, the ivory tower, was more centered and focused on teaching selfishness than self-evident truths in teaching narcissism rather than natural law. Bad ideas, bad culture, bad kids, bad bad country. Richard Weaver spoke of this in 1948 in his seminal work, Ideas Have Consequences. You don't even need to crack the book to know what he was talking about. Ideas have consequences. They matter. And when you teach lousy ideas, you're going to get lousy results. So to answer your question, what caused me to start speaking out about this? I was being critical of my own industry because I recognized that the academy, by and large, Berkeley to Brown and every place in between, was teaching childishness rather than mature thinking. Hmm. Can you give me an example of a lousy idea? Well, let's start with a microaggression. Let's start with a trigger warning. Let's start with safe spaces. All of these are the same idea. It's about, all about me. It's all about mine. It's all about us versus them. It's all about conflict. It's all about revenge. It's all about vengeance rather than virtue. All of these ideas are selfish. They're narcissistic. It's perpetual navel gazing. And children do this, but adults don't. Adults look outward and serve. They don't keep fixating on their temper tantrum because they want a new piece of candy or a plastic toy. We actually had counseling centers and still do at some of the premier institutions in our land that have Play-Doh, coloring books, and videos of frolicking puppies. There's an institution in the east, the northeast of the United States, a college and university that brought in a small herd of baby goats during finals week so that the students could pet the goats to soothe their anxieties as they prepared for their tests. Are these good ideas? I certainly hope that most of us could agree that they're not. Wow, that was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.